Number 52, calculate the number of moles and the mass of the, of the solute in each of the following solutions. And then we have letter D. Now, in this example, they gave us 10.5 liters, right? And this is all of a 3.716 molarity, a solution of ammonium sulfate, NH42SO4. And ammonium sulfate is a liquid fertilizer. Thank you for that little piece of information. Awesome. <laughs> okay, now let's just do the math, right? That's what we came here for. So we have a volume, right? 10.5 liters, and we have a molarity. Remember, uppercase M is always a molarity, right? So I have a volume, I have a molarity, right? They want us to find the moles. So there's a little triangle trick that I like to teach you guys, right? And it looks like this. Yours doesn't have to be as colorful as mine. The point just has to get across, right? It's a triangle with a T in the middle. And then I have my three units, okay? So I have molarity on the, the bottom left, moles on the top, and liters on the bottom right. These units have to stay, guys. This cannot be a milliliter, right? This cannot be grams up top here. These three units and in their places are very, very strict, okay? So what you're going to do is you're just going to see what you have and just see if it matches any of the units. Well, they gave us 10.5 liters, so I have this. They gave us 3.716 molarity, right? So I have this. And I already have two out of the three units. I can solve for moles. So I can already go for this. So how do I make a formula out of this, this table, right? This little triangle table. Well, I say I'm, I'm looking for moles. So I'll just say moles equals. And the one that I'm looking for, if you wrote this down on paper, you're just going to hover over it, okay, with your thumb or one of your fingers. And when you hover over it, you don't see it anymore. So it's basically just forcing you to focus on the ones that you can see. Since these two units are interacting by this divider, right? They're on the same tier. So this stands for multiplication. However, if you had your two units that were on top of one another, right? Either this way or this way, that would be division. Okay, but in this case, it's literally molarity times liters. So that's what the formula is. Moles equals molarity times liters. Now all I got to do is just plug in my numbers. It's as simple as that. So I'm solving for my moles of solute. And in this case, it's the ammonium sulfate. And it's 3.716 times the 10.5. You can keep your units in there. I'm just not going to for simplicity purposes because I know that the unit that's coming out is moles. So in this case, moles equals 3.716, 3.716 times 10.5. The lowest number of sig figs is in the volume. It's 10.5. So my answer technically should have three sig figs. So I'm going to say this is 39.0. And this is moles of the NH42SO4. Okay, first part done. A lot of moles, 30 moles. That's insane. So we're probably going to get a big number for our grams. Let's see. Mainly because they gave us such a large volume. I mean, we got 10 liters here. That's crazy. Okay, so moles done. Now we just need to find the mass. Well, remember, guys, that a mass is just a gram unit, right? It's a G. How do I go from a mole value, right, moles that we found out here, 39, to a mass, grams. We could do a dimensional analysis or we can just simply know it as this little trick conversion down here, right? We have a mole value, we just found that out, right? And I labeled it as X, uh, meaning that it could be any element or compound. If you wanna convert from a mole of something to its corresponding gram value, right? And X goes with X, it has to be the same compound or element. I'm going this way. So I'm just going to take my moles and I'm going to multiply by the molecular weight and I'll get my grams. Well, where's the molecular weight, right? The, the molar weight or the molecular weight or the molecular mass or the molar mass, they're all the same, 
right? This is the number that's on the periodic table. You have to go to your periodic table and find out the mass of the compound. We've done tons of problems figuring out the masses, right? So nothing new here, right? This is old, old stuff. They usually teach us in like the first or first or second couple of weeks of your class. The hardest part here is just knowing how many you have. Remember, this two tells us that I have really two nitrogens and eight hydrogens. So I have two nitrogens, I have eight hydrogens, I got one sulfur and four oxygens. Let's go to the periodic table, count up the masses, taking those numbers into consideration, and let's see if our numbers closely match. I will do the exact numbers. You can, you know, round your numbers if you want to. Let's see if we roughly come to the same uh, number. So let's see. I have two nitrogens. Okay. I have eight hydrogens. Okay. I have one sulfur. Okay. And then I have the four oxygens. All right. So I get an exact number of 132.144, and that's unit of gram per mole. So you might have gotten 132 if you rounded your numbers, but should be the same. Now all we have to do is just take the mole value and multiply by the molar mass. So let's do it. 39.0, and then that's times the molar weight, 132.144, and that's going to get us the mass in grams. If we kept the units, right, this was a mole value, so mole. This was a gram per mole, and if I'm multiplying the two of them, look what happens to the unit of moles, guys, right? Um, they cancel. Mole on the top, mole on the bottom, and I'm just left with grams. So, yeah, just a cute little, not cute little, but easy, easy trick. So I'm going to take the molar mass, times it by 39. I still need three sig figs, so I'll put this one in scientific notation. I got 5.15 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3. Huge amount of grams. Just And could have saw that because we do have a lot of moles here. And this is grams of the NH4 to SO4. And that's your final answer for the grams, the mass. So there you go. So here's your moles. Here's your mass. That's it. Guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Tell your friends, right, if you want to help us out. Just gets the word out there that this cool, cool education service exists. Um, thank you for that, and hope I'll see you in the next lesson. All right, more molarity. Let's do it. See you later. Bye-bye.